quick video about the Roland VS2480 with this converter you can change the IDE hard drive that's inside this with an SSD drive those are my VS8F2 cards over there those are two pins I'm not sure what those are for that's the one that goes to the IDE drive right there here's the power supply spot and it's a smart time to change out the fan this fan is kinda noisy they have silent fans now and it's there's a lot of space in there to work so change that out so there's this cage around the hard drive and it's inside that Okay, so this hard drive used to be owned by Rodney Brown. He was a DC musician. It has a little fan on it beside there. You kind of can't see it, but this little drive has a fan on it. Um, on this hard drive, the it was set to master, which is what you're going to set. Make sure the converter chip, the converter adapter, make sure that the jumper on it is set to master. Yeah, the guy had a desk star in here. I know in the VS Planet forum they used to call this the Death Star. This one, anyway, this was a 30 gig drive that was in there. It served me well, you know. A lot of screws. You're going to be removing many screws from the back of the unit. So, there it is on the inside. A little caddy slides right in there and just jams into that nice and easy. So it's a pretty simple procedure. I didn't know that this had that little lock screw thing in there. That's great. Good little gadget. Anyway. This is the chip. Like I said, make sure that it is set to master. It comes usually with the pin set to master, and that's the SATA side. And here's the little SSD drive, and it doesn't have to be... That's the most that the VS is going to recognize, 120 gig. So I bought 120 gig. cost me 30 bucks. I simply used double-sided tape on one side of it on the underside and then put tape over the top it's very secure so it won't rattle around inside there so I just taped it down right there I had it swinging but I taped it down so when you turn on your VS you know it goes through the regular setup and being that it hasn't been formatted the drive has not been formatted the VS is gonna say well no drive found you're gonna see that come up soon no found drive so then you click OK and then it asks you well, how do you want to partition the drive and I just did the physical format on this is where it was at after about an hour it got to there so it takes a while so after three I came back to it like four hours later and it was done Turn it on, just hit the project list button, and there you have it. 11 gig partitions, 120 gig drive. This thing is great.